Hey guys, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, my name is Edward Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be looking at some Bayer Dynamic headphones comparing the classic range DT770 Pros to the newly released DT700 Pro Xs and also the DT770 Pros and the open back versions of those headphones as well. Looking at the price of each pair of headphones, the comfort, the build quality, the accessories that you get and hopefully we can find the perfect pair for your home studio setup. <gasps> So before we jump into things, I'd first like to give a huge shout out to Sweetwater for sending me these headphones and for sponsoring today's video. For those of you guys that don't know, I purchase all my studio equipment from Sweetwater.com because they have the latest and the greatest. They've got so much variety, especially if you're looking at comparing products and finding the perfect piece of gear for you. They have so much in stock and they also have the best customer service along the way, making sure you get exactly what you need and exactly what you paid for. And if you're looking to purchase any home studio equipment or anything in the music world go to sweetwater.com i will leave a link down below and if you're interested in purchasing any of these headphones as well i'll leave some links down below as well so to jump straight back into our headphone comparison when it comes to bare dynamic headphones in my opinion they really make the best product for the price that you pay if you're looking at sound quality the comfort of the headphones themselves the accessories that you get it's really everything you're looking for and the price is also just so well suited when you put it all together and when we look at these headphones ranging from the DT770 Pros all the way up to the DT770s there is a slight price increase as you go up in terms of comfort and maybe a few additional accessories but in terms of the sound quality you can't really say that one pair of headphones is better than the other they really do have a different sound profile they're really unique and they are designed for different purposes so in this case the price doesn't necessarily determine the sound quality and other than the different series of headphones that Bayer Dynamic has to offer they do have a closed back and open back design for each with the DT770 Pro, 700 Pro X and 77 Pros these are all a closed back design where the open back design headphones are the 990 Pros, the 900 Pro X and the 1990 Pros. So to jump straight into these headphones the first thing that we can have a look at is the overall look and design, build quality and and comfort of each pair. When we look at the DT770 Pros, these headphones are extremely comfortable. They have such a nice soft cushion and the fact that Bayer Dynamic headphones in general sit over your ear and not on the tips means that you can wear these for longer periods of time with actually having any strain or pain on your head. The tightness of the squeeze is also really, really comfortable, meaning that you will be able to wear these for long periods of time. When you look at the build quality of the DT770, 770 Pros, they do have a plastic feel on the cups, but the frame in general is a metal feel, so it does feel solid. And because most parts of Bayer Dynamic headphones can be replaced, like the ear cushions and the headbands, it does make them even longer lasting compared to other headphones. When we look at the look and design of these headphones, in my opinion, they are really sleek and classy looking. There's not too much going on, they're nice and simple. And for any home studio setup, if you're definitely on a tight budget, or you're just looking for headphones that are going to do a really good job at a very good price these are really a cool pair of headphones to go for when we move on to the DT700 Pro X headphones these are a pair of headphones that in terms of build quality are also really really solid you do still have some plastic on the ear cups and things like that but the main frame is still that metal solid base and like I said it is a bare dynamic pair of headphones so most things are replaceable like the ear cushions and the headband and when it comes to the comfort of these headphones these are probably the most comfortable headphones I've ever worn they are so so soft the cushions are so so soft and the squeeze on the head is just exceptional that I think you could actually wear these for a whole bunch of hours before you feel anything they do cover your ears as well they don't have any press on the edges of your ears so they are a really comfortable pair of headphones and in terms of look and design I also think they're super clean and classy 
I love the plain finish. Nothing is standing out too much. It's pretty clean, pretty classy, and exactly what you want for your home studio setup. And then lastly, the DT1770 Pros, which are a pair of headphones that will cost you around $600. And for that premium price, you do expect the best comfort and build quality and look and design. And in this case, that is exactly what you're getting. The materials used, there isn't much plastic around. You are getting a solid metal feel. And I must say, in terms of comfort, these headphones are also very, very solid. They do have a slight weight to them because they have that premium type feel. But when you put these on your head, the squeeze is just perfect. It just feels like you have a solid product on your head and the results you're about to get is gonna be just as good. One thing that is slightly different with the DT1770 Pros is the fact that you cannot replace the headband. You can still replace the earpieces, but with other headphones, you were able to replace the headband where with these you are not and in terms of look and design definitely a clean and classy product now moving on to the different accessories that you get with each pair of headphones when you look at the dt770 pros you do get a nice bag for on the go travel you don't get any cables because the cable is not detachable so you won't be able to switch between cables anyway and you get some paperwork as well but it's pretty much just the headphones and a bag and that's all whereas when you move on to the dt700 pro x's here you are getting a detachable cable you have two different different lengths which is quite nice a long one if you're standing away from your desk maybe recording or tracking vocals and another cable for close up if you're sitting at your desk and you want the cable to just be shorter which is really nice and you also get a better premium tie bag for on the go travel with these which is really nice and then lastly with the DT1770 Pros for that $600 price tag you do get a nice case to store them in you get two extra ear pad cushions for later on if you want to place them and you also get two different cables one coiled and one a little bit longer and because these also have a detachable kind of function it is nice to switch between the two and at this price you wouldn't expect anything less now the final thing i want to look at when it comes to comparing these bear dynamic headphones is the sound quality that you get with each pair and like i mentioned in the beginning of this video these headphones have their own unique sound profile and the price doesn't necessarily determine the sound quality that you get another thing to keep in mind is that each pair of headphones has its own impedance meaning that some headphones are a lot louder than others and you might need to have a headphone amp for a certain pair of headphones where another pair of headphones won't work on an iPad all these kinds of things all of these things are really important to consider starting off with the DT770 Pros these headphones come in three different impedances a low impedance means you can use them on more things like an iPad or you know just a basic laptop you don't need an amplifier and as you increase the impedance you are going to need more amplifier power to really use the headphones and push out all of that energy when we look at the actual sound profile and frequency response of these headphones on the lower end they are pretty tight you don't really hear any sub bass frequencies you hear your bass but it isn't really a pair of headphones that I would trust to really mix my bass frequencies and in the mid-range it's kind of hollow you don't really hear anything popping out too clearly it is quite dimmed in that area and it does make things feel more placed out because you don't have that grip of the mid-range and on the high end side of things I must say these headphones are really clear they do have a nice treble response they are crispy and one important thing that I did notice with these headphones compared to other brands out there is how spaced out the instruments are you can really hear what's going on and I think for mixing purposes it is a really solid pair of headphones just to see where everything is lying as the sound profile is pretty clear in that perspective but one thing to look out for though when it comes to the sound quality of these headphones is because the high end is so sharp and strong it can be fatiguing and you won't be able to wear these for too too long especially if your ears are kind of sensitive because those sharp high frequencies are something that does stand out especially if you are at high volumes moving on to the dt 700 pro x's these headphones come in one low impedance which is really nice for the fact that you don't have to have any external amplifier to power them up they are nice and loud straight off the bat they work well on an ipad a laptop anything like that which is really really cool and in terms of the sound 
quality with these headphones. They are a lot warmer than the DT770 Pros. The low end is nice extended. You hear the bass frequencies a little bit more. The mid-range is a little bit more flat and prominent. You can actually hear the mid-range frequencies pop out a little bit more. And there's a nice tightness on these headphones as well. And in terms of the high end, it's not as clear and crispy as the DT770 Pros, which could be a good thing because it's not as harsh either. And in terms of the placement of the instruments, it's not as spaced out as the DT770 Pro, so you are getting a little bit of a warmer, tighter feel and a more smoother feel with these headphones compared to the DT770s. Then lastly, looking at the DT1770 Pros, these headphones come in two different impedances, one perfect for your basic audio interface, where in my opinion, these are perfect with a headphone amp because they are at such a premium quality, you really need the most to amplify those drivers and push out the most out of a pair of headphones like this so if you are going to go for these try and get an headphone amp in my opinion but in terms of sound quality the low end is really punchy you can hear what's going on it's crystal clear it's not something that you usually see in headphones so for mixing and mastering the low end side of things these are definitely a trustworthy pair of headphones to look at and then in terms of the mid-range you still have a slight cutout but it is a little bit more prominent than the DT770 Pro so your instruments are still nicely placed out you can hear exactly where they are but your mid-range isn't taking over and bringing everything together too much and in terms of the high end I haven't really heard a pair of headphones that is as crystal clear as these they're super upfront you can really hear every single frequency on the treble side of things a nice airy feel to it especially when I was mixing vocals with the DT 1990s those headphones you can really pick up those high end frequencies and really hear what's going on especially if you're in the middle of a mix with so much instrumentation going around you these headphones are nice and bright and right up front and i must say overall the balance is perfect if you're mixing and mastering a project so that completes my bear dynamic headphone comparison between bear dynamics classic series and their new pro x range and just to remind you that the dt770 pros will cost you around 150 dollars double that and you get the pro x's at around 300 dollars and if you double that you get the 1770 Pro and 1990 Pro headphones which is their flagship pair of headphones and just to remind you guys that if you are interested in these headphones check out the links down below if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and if you loved it subscribe down below and I will see you guys for another video next time